In part one, we revealed how Tesla Model 2's exterior was engineered to cut repair costs by up to 70% through bolt-on crash pods, unpainted cladding, and a sealed underbody. But that was just the shell. Today, we're going inside to the electrical and thermal systems that could make this under $25,000 EV the cheapest vehicle to own over the next decade. Here's a fact most people don't know. A modern car carries three to five kilometers of electrical wiring. That wiring gets hot. It oxidizes. It fails. And when it fails, diagnosing the problem can cost you hundreds of dollars just in labor. Tesla Model 2 was designed to end that. We're talking about a 48-volt electrical backbone that cuts current by 75% and an all-in-one HVAC system that manages four critical functions in a single block. This is an incremental improvement. This is a complete rethink of how a car should work. If you want to understand why Tesla believes they can dominate the affordable EV market, stay with me because what you're about to see is engineering most automakers won't match until 2030. 48 volt electrical spine, the end of 12 volt complexity. Let's start with the power system because this is where Model 2 breaks from 70 years of automotive convention. Every car you've ever owned runs on 12 volts. It's been the industry standard since the 1950s, but here's the problem. 12-volt systems are fundamentally inefficient. The math is simple. Power equals voltage times current. If you need 960 watts to run a cabin fan at 12 volts, you need 80 amps flowing through that wire. Raise the voltage to 48 volts, same 960 watts, but now you only need 20 amps. You've cut current to one quarter. Why does that matter? Because electrical loss, the heat wasted in wires, grows with the square of the current. Cut current by 75% and you get thinner wires, less copper, less weight, fewer heat, and fewer failure points. Model 2 organizes its low voltage system around a 48-volt backbone running the length of the vehicle. Seats, pumps, fans, windows, everything plugs into standardized, waterproof connectors. Devices that still need 12 volts get it from small converter modules mounted close to the device. Short 12-volt runs mean less voltage drop and consistent performance. Here's where it gets smart. Electronic fuses and current sensors monitor every branch. In traditional 12-volt cars, faults are hard to trace. Technicians spend hours checking wires and connectors. With Model 2's 48-volt system, Software logs every fault and tells the technician exactly which module failed. No guessing, no trial and error. Real-world example, your cabin blower motor fails. In a traditional car, removing the dashboard, tracing wiring and replacing components takes three to five hours. Cost, $400 to $700. On Model 2, the system identifies the exact module the tech unplugs it, swaps it, and you're done. Time, 30 to 45 minutes. Cost, under $200. Because current is lower and connectors run cooler, oxidation slows dramatically. Those intermittent electrical gremlins, flickering lights, erratic fans, random warnings, become rare. And here's something most buyers overlook. Wire harness weight. In a traditional 12-volt vehicle, the complete wiring harness can weigh 60 to 80 pounds. With 48-volt architecture and thinner conductors, Model 2 could shed 15 to 20 pounds of copper alone. That weight reduction translates directly into range, approximately 1% to 1.5% improvement in efficiency. Over 100,000 miles of driving? That's real energy savings. Model 2 moved to 48 volts to make Model 2 cheaper and more predictable to own over 10 years. All-in-one HVAC, the thermal heart. Now, let's talk climate control, because this is where Model 2 separates itself from every other affordable EV. 
most vehicles treat heating, cooling, and battery thermal management as separate systems with their own hoses, valves, and controllers. It's complicated, and complicated means expensive to service. Tesla Model 2 consolidates everything into one front-mounted HVAC module that handles four functions, cabin cooling, cabin heating via heat pump, dehumidification, and battery thermal management. At the center is a multi-port manifold, a thermal switchboard that routes refrigerant and coolant so heat moves flexibly between cabin, motor, and battery. Why does this matter? Efficiency. Most EVs use resistive heating in winter, essentially a toaster element, with one-to-one -one efficiency. A heat pump is different. It moves heat using refrigeration, delivering three to four watts of heating for every watt of electricity. That's three to four times more efficient. Real-world data shows EVs with heat pumps retain about 83% of rated range in freezing weather versus 75% without heat pumps. On a 250-mile EV, that's 207 miles versus 187 miles. 20 miles matters. The integrated design also enables dynamic prioritization. Fast charging on a hot day, more cooling goes to the battery. Cold morning start? Waste heat from the motor warms the cabin faster without draining the battery. Hit defrost? The evaporator drops the air's dew point for instant clarity. Serviceability is the other major benefit. Traditional HVAC systems have long hose runs and components buried behind dashboards. Diagnosing leaks takes hours. Model 2's thermal block is front-mounted and accessible. One cover, one manifold, straightforward diagnosis. If a valve fails, it's a quick swap, not a multi-hour teardown. Shorter hose runs also mean less total refrigerant, which lowers environmental impact and reduces refill costs. But there's another advantage that becomes critical over time. Fewer joints mean fewer leak points. Traditional automotive AC systems can have 12 to 18 hose connections and O-ring seals. Each one is a potential failure point. Over years of temperature cycling and vibration, refrigerant slowly escapes. You lose cooling capacity gradually without even noticing until one summer day when the AC barely works. Model 2's integrated manifold reduces those connections to perhaps six to eight critical seals, all designed for long-term durability. The system is more likely to maintain peak performance for eight to 10 years without refrigerant top-ups. That's $150 to $250 saved in maintenance costs you won't see on a traditional system. The result is a system that heats and cools efficiently, extends winter range by eight to 10%, fails less often, and costs less to repair when needed. The 10-year ownership equation. Let's connect everything. Model 2 uses a 48-volt electrical backbone that reduces complexity, cuts heat, and makes faults easy to diagnose. It uses an all-in-one HVAC system that consolidates four thermal functions, improves efficiency, and reduces leak potential. Combined with the crash pods, unpainted cladding, and sealed underbody from part one, you get something the affordable EV market has never seen. A vehicle that's not just cheap to buy, it's cheap to keep. Over 10 years, fewer electrical faults will save you $500 to $1,200. Simpler HVAC service will save you $300 to $800. Better winter efficiency will save you $400 to $600 in charging costs. And reduced refrigerant maintenance will save you $150 to $250. Total potential savings are $2,850 to $5,850 compared to traditional EVs in the same price range before insurance reductions. That's the difference between affordable and truly cost-effective. Now think about this in the context of the used car market.
Most buyers shopping for a five or seven year old EV are terrified of battery replacement costs and unpredictable repair bills. But a Model 2 with documented low maintenance costs, a clean Carfax, and proven winter range retention? That vehicle will hold resale value better than anything else in its class. Model 2 isn't just an affordable EV. It's a 10-year ownership strategy built into 48 volts and four thermal functions. Tesla didn't cut corners to hit that under $25,000 price. They re-engineered the fundamentals so the car stays affordable long after you drive it off the lot. And that's the real disruption, not the sticker price. The total cost of ownership from 2026 to 2036. If this deep dive engineering analysis is what you're here for, hit subscribe and turn on notifications because we're breaking down the technology that's reshaping the automotive industry one system at a time. Drop a comment with 48V Revolution if you think this is where all affordable EVs should go. And if you missed part one, the link is right in the description. The exterior engineering is just as impressive as what's inside. I'll see you in the next one.